Welcome back. We just finished washing the 350Z. For those of you that don't know, this is a 2003 350Z track edition, just under 28,000 miles. I've had it for a long time. I had it in storage for about 10 years when I lived in Manhattan and just changed the oil, just took it for a drive every once in a while and it kept the mileage low. We just finished washing it and now we're going to dry it off and I got the Ego 765 to dry it off with. Lithium ion battery, it's pretty powerful, it's pretty badass actually. And right now I'm spraying the car off again. I've already washed the car, did the wheels, tires, uh, sprayed it down with foam, hand washed it with a mitt. And now we are just spraying it down because we ran into some sunlight there, which is why I was moving the car. I pulled it up in front of the garage here. So we're going to spray it down again, then we're going to get out the dryer, dry it off. Really happy that I upgraded my detailing tools and my supplies because it just makes it a lot more fun when you have all the right supplies and tools to clean your cars with. And if you're a neat freak like I am, I think that the OCD term is overused. I mean, I'm not clinically diagnosed or whatever OCD. I'm just a neat freak. I just like neat stuff. It's not a disorder. OCD is something else. But anyway, spraying the car down. This is the first time I actually filmed myself while washing the car. And we ran into some sunlight there. No biggie. It's early in the morning here. It's like probably 7.30, maybe 8 o'clock in the morning. Got to keep it wet though, can't have water spots. And here we go with the dryer. So I have a stubby nozzle, I have a short nozzle on this. And honestly, I should have bought a better one. I bought one of the cheaper ones on Amazon. I think it was like $20. And it's a little light and flimsy. So, so if you have one of these and you're thinking about getting the stubby nozzle, because this is great, it makes it much easier to handle it takes a good 20 inches, maybe more, off the total length of the blower. And if you're in a garage, like normally I'll dry the car off inside the garage, but this I thought would be easier to shoot on camera here outside. But yeah, you gotta get the stubby nozzle, basically. But don't buy the cheapest one. Don't buy the $20 Amazon one. Get one of the good ones. I think the good ones are probably $40, $50. I don't know, comment below if you know. The headlights have held up pretty well on this car. They do get a little bit of hazing sometimes, but you can't always even see. And it's it's on the inside, so I want to say water probably gets trapped in the inside, and hazes up. But it's minor, and this is a driver's car. It is low mileage. It is in great shape. Hasn't been in any accidents or anything. But it's not a concourse car. It's not a show car or anything like that. It's still a driver's car. People always ask me, you gonna go turbo? You gonna get a body kit? You gonna do this? You gonna do that? No, I'm not doing any of that stuff. And that's cool, nothing wrong with that. But I like naturally aspirated cars. I don't care if it's slow. So we're gonna do full motor dyne exhaust. We'll do plenum spacer. We'll do art pipes. We'll do shockwave, true dual exhaust, a tune, and then maybe, just maybe cams. Maybe I will do like a 272 cam and to work along with it, the springs and everything, and whatever else I have to do. Because I like sound, I do like sound. And with all those mods, I could add a good 50 horsepower or so, bring it up to you know, 300 and 30, 350 at the crank anyway, probably 290, 300 at the wheels if I'm lucky. That is with the cams, if I do go that route. Anyway, so the dryer is great. It works well. It's powerful. It is heavy. The batteries are very heavy with this, but they charge fast. And it's great for the yard work around the house, blowing the 
leaves off the steps, blowing the leaves off the patio. So I absolutely recommend getting one of these. And they are more expensive than your standard leaf blower, but they last a long time. There it goes, see? Don't get the cheap one. Do not get the cheap one. But clips back on quick. Thing is heavier than it looks too, I tell you. It's it's not exactly lightweight. That's a problem with batteries and you know, we're in this electric era now with everything, and I think electric's pretty good for stuff like this because I don't feel like using gas for something like this. I don't mind charging it. It's clean, it's small, it's lightweight. I have lightweight, it's not lightweight. I guess they've gotten lighter weight, you could say. And it'll get it 90% dry, then I go back over it with my drying towels. The first towel is one that I use for the glass. I got it at AutoZone way back when. And this is a rag company drying towel. This is a good towel here. It's funny, you know, it looks like I'm applying a lot of pressure, but I swear I'm not. I'm not applying a lot of pressure here. If you notice on the front of the car, I've got those clear turn, I guess they're called turn markers or clear reflectors. I want to go back to the amber. I don't know if I'm just getting older, but they're starting to bother me a little bit. I think I'm going to go back to the amber, but it's a bitch because you got to take the whole bumper off. I should have just had it done when I, I had some maintenance done. I got new tires and the wheel spacers put on and I probably should have just had it done then, but maybe when I get the exhaust work done, I will get the, I'll go back to the amber on the turn signal. What do they call it? Not turn signals. Um, just, we'll just call them reflect, reflectors, the amber reflectors. I have stealth bulbs in the headlights. That's a great mod. If you're gonna keep your stock headlights, it gets rid of the, the amber color inside the headlight and it makes the headlight look a lot cleaner. And there's a lot of people don't seem to know about those. They have them at the Z store. I think it's called the Z store. I don't think Z1 Motorsports carries them. They're not, they're like 20 bucks, I think, maybe $30 for a, for a set. Still have to correct the paint on this, but I need some practice with my polishing, so I'm gonna do the, the Honda Accord, the daily driver first. We're gonna paint correct that. But I definitely want to get some good sealing and wax on here. Right now there's your speed maker, and then I can just spray it off with the foam cannon and then rinse it off and then dry it without really even touching it. And if you get a few spots, who cares? Because this is where you scratch the car, is when you're drying the car, you know? And if you don't touch it, sometimes touchless, I think, is the way to go, at least for maintenance washes. And I'm washing once every couple months now, once a month. I'm not driving this car daily. I used to wash my cars every single week without fail, and that's just, that's just overkill. And then you get love marks. Even if you do everything right, you're at least gonna get fine scratches. But that's it for today, guys. If you're using a, a dryer like the Ego 765, comment below. Let me know how you like it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.